My business is called Hearst Hearing. I'm an audiologist. I've been an audiologist for 20 years. This is the first time I've done a private practice. I've always worked for hospitals, ear, nose, and throat clinics. We started the business in September, so we've been going about five months. It's going great. We decided to open the business because I was working in Santa Fe and the clinic that I was working at closed down when COVID happened. So it was kind of a, um, a situation where I had to figure out what was next. And I've thought for years about trying a mobile audiology practice and decided this was a good, as good a time as any. I have a unique kind of practice where I, most of my time I'm in my patients' homes rather than in clinic. And that's been really fun, a really cool opportunity to see my patients in their environment and really see what their challenges are. Usually when they're in their own space and their spouse is there and I can see if they have high ceilings, hard floors, you know, lots of echo in the house. Hearst Hearing was a very unique uh, business that was looking to get started. She was unique because she was looking to take services to people versus having people have to come to her. And especially during the COVID climate, that became a very unique resource in a rural community, which is access to rural health care. And it was um, a challenge for her to get funding because she was a startup business and she had no history of doing this. And so that makes the funding for that a little bit riskier and a little more challenging for a traditional bank. Community Fund has resources that allow us to take more risk. I was introduced to the First Southwest Community Fund through the Small Business Development Center. Um, they recommended the fund and um, I contacted them and they've been really great to work with. I was able to get a small business loan and uh, purchased my equipment with that loan. Uh, the equipment that I use is fairly expensive, so I, I definitely needed some capital to start up and uh, that's been very, very helpful. I was able to get excellent uh, state-of-the-art equipment to start the business. First Southwest Bank is a CDFI bank, and that means that we're a community development financial institution. And that is a special designation given by the U.S. Treasury. And it basically means that we serve underserved geographic areas and underserved populations of people or targeted populations. And uh, that provides us special funding sources through the U.S. Treasury. Part of what we do as a CDFI bank is to identify needs and gaps in our markets. And one of the um, gaps that we identified was that even though we have all of these great resources as a CDFI bank, there were still areas that were not covered that um, did not provide adequate funding to um, business owners. And we created the 501c3 for Southwest Community Fund to help fill those gaps and bring in resources where we could help fund projects and get them done. Where, for instance, a bank can only provide 80% funding on a project um, and a borrower only has a 10% down payment, the community fund can come in to fill that 10% gap. The equipment that I use is all um, very mobile, so I actually can carry all of my equipment in my two hands. Um, I go into their home, usually at their kitchen table, and set up um, and it's a portable audiometer that actually recently was sent to the space station to um, do audiology testing on the astronauts. It's just a very small little device that goes over the head and provides the same attenuation as a soundproof booth. We started the community fund about, it's almost six years ago now, and we had zero resources, it was an idea, and we've taken it from an idea to something fairly substantial that can provide significant support in our rural communities. 
finding a small business loan was critical to being able to start, start up.